Hey everybody, it's Good Heart Kids. Hi kids, your adventure today awaits in the story, Christmas in the Big Woods. Rosie will be reading this story that was adapted from the Little House books written by Laura Ingalls Wilder and illustrated by Renee Groff. Hi kids, I'm Rosie. Welcome to Storytime. Shelby and I recently went on an adventure to our local library. Do you know what we found there? We found books, and a lot of them. Have you ever been to your local library? It is the best place to go if you're looking for a good adventure. Yeah, I'm always up for a good adventure. Rosie even got me my own library card, and if you ask, maybe your grown-up person will get you one too. In today's adventure, Laura celebrates Christmas with her family. Not just Ma, Pa, and her sisters, but her Aunt Eliza, Uncle Peter, and her three cousins. Christmas is such a happy time to celebrate with family. I can't wait for the story. Christmas in the Big Woods Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her little sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog, Jack. Christmas was coming and the little house was covered with snow. When Pa came in from shoveling, he caught Laura up in a big bear hug against his cold winter coat. His mustache was covered with melting snowflakes. Ma was busy all day long cooking good things for Christmas. She baked bread and apple pies and filled a big jar with cookies. Laura and Mary got to lick the spoon. Pa and Ma showed Laura and Mary how to make molasses candy by pouring hot sugar and molasses syrup into pans of snow. The syrup hardened at once and turned into candy. Laura and Mary could eat one piece each, but the rest was saved for Christmas Day. The day before Christmas, Aunt Eliza, Uncle Peter, and cousins Peter, Alice, and Ella came to visit. Laura and Mary heard sleigh bells ringing, and then a big bobsled came out of the woods. Aunt Eliza, Uncle Peter, and the cousins were inside, covered up with blankets. When everyone came inside, the little house was filled to the seams. Jack ran around in circles, barking happily. Now there were lots of children to play with. Laura and Mary and the cousins put on their warm coats and mittens and scarves and went outside to make pictures in the soft, deep snow. They played so hard that when night came, they were too excited to sleep. But they knew they must, or Santa Claus would not come. So they hung their stockings by the fireplace, put on their red flannel nightgowns, and went to bed. In the morning, they all woke up almost at the same moment and ran to see what was in their stockings. In every stocking was a pair of bright red mittens and a stick of red and white striped peppermint candy. They were so happy they could hardly speak. But Laura was the happiest of all. In her stocking was a beautiful rag doll with black button eyes and a pink and blue calico dress. Laura named her doll Charlotte, and she let all the other children hold her. For Christmas breakfast, Ma made each child a pancake man. All the children held their plates next to the stove and watched while Ma made the pancake men one by one out of pancake batter. Peter ate his up right away, but the girls ate theirs slowly to make them last. It was too cold to go outside, so the children played quietly inside. They ate their candy 
admired their mittens, and looked at the pictures in Pa's big green book until it was time for the cousins to go home. Laura held Charlotte in her arms the whole time. At last, Aunt Eliza, Uncle Peter, and the cousins bundled up in their coats and blankets and got into the bobsled. Goodbye, they called, and off they went into the woods. In a little while, the happy sound of sleigh bells was gone, and Christmas was over. But what a happy Christmas it had been. The children had such a fun Christmas day together. They enjoyed playing in the snow together, and like most all other children, had a hard time going to sleep on Christmas Eve. I know how that is, Rosie. It's hard because I can't wait to see what Santa Claus brings. Yes, but all children know that Santa doesn't come until they are asleep. Kids, if you enjoyed the story today, be sure to check out more Little House stories on Good Heart Kids. Thank you for joining us for our story today. We hope to see you again soon. If you like the story, hit the subscribe button below. If you click the bell icon beside it, we will let you know when we have a new video for you to watch. See you soon!